talk about your own line taking steps. Where do you see maybe those opportunities are where you guys can uh, create even more? Uh, I mean, I think just uh, holding on the pucks down low, making sure that uh, you know, we're making smart plays in the offensive zone and uh, you know, switching sides when we can and just holding on to it so we can play more offense and, uh, and keep it in their zone. I think, uh, you know, we've been pretty good off the rush, but I think uh, just maintaining possession in the offensive zone is uh, another step that we'd like to take in and, um, you know, just improving in that area. Well, I mean, I think uh, everybody would. I've been lucky enough to, you know, play for the U.S. Uh, in different tournaments, at the NTDP, World Juniors, World Championships, and stuff like that. And I mean, and I think uh, a lot of guys uh, take a lot of pride in playing for their country. So, uh, you know, the, the Olympics is, uh, you know, kind of at the top of the top as far as that goes. So, definitely be. Uh, you know, pretty pretty amazing experience to to be able to you know put on the the U.S. jersey and play in that tournament for sure. Have you seen from Mitch and his consistency since coming back from injury, Austin? I mean, he's been great for us. Uh, you know, not playing with him, it's it's been uh, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun, and um, you know, just what he brings to the table every night. Uh, he's competitive, wants to wants the puck on his stick, wants to make plays, and uh, wants to help the team win. So uh, it's always a blast playing with him, and obviously he's done uh, extremely well for us, especially since he's come back from injury. Well, the um, consistency of the power play to really get going here? Uh, I mean, it helps to draw off some penalties first. Um, I think that's the, the first thing that kind of comes to mind. But I think our power play has been doing pretty well so far uh, in the last couple of weeks. I think we've been, uh, you know, we've been doing pretty well. We've been able to capitalize on some opportunities, score some goals in, in some pretty big moments. And, um, you know, it would be nice to get a couple more uh, power plays. And so that's on us to, to kind of draw a couple more. Sorry to the goaltenders, maybe you're playing your foot down in the third period lately. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think that's something that, you know, especially our first year we struggled with uh, at times and, and points in this year we've struggled with. And, you know, I think now, uh, you know, we're kind of figuring out, you know, how to play, uh, especially in those types of games where we're up a couple goals or up a goal and uh, making sure that we're taking care of the puck and not uh, not being too fancy with it uh, and, and turning it over and just making sure that uh, we're, we're trying to play in their zone and keep it in their zone as much as possible. How big of a discussion point is trying to draw penalties amongst you guys in meetings or between yourselves? You, you I mean, not on. really, yeah. It's not really a huge discussion point. I think it's just as the game goes. John, what can you take from the game in Edmonton three weeks ago in terms of what the group was able to do to neutralize uh, Connor and obviously uh, Leon? Yeah, I think uh, obviously being smart with the puck, uh, being good in the neutral zone, uh, not giving them the, the time and space to generate the speed and um, their playmaking ability. So uh, also I think, you know, we stay out of the box. They have a very good power play. Um, and they're really very talented players, and they got some uh, good shooters as well. So, um, yeah, you just really want them to really have to earn every opportunity they get. And, you know, we uh, um, do the best job that we can to uh, protect the middle of the ice. What have you liked about the club's ability to manage the puck over the course of the last three weeks? And I guess that lends itself here tonight. Yeah, I think we want to continue to, to be creative and, and be dynamic and make plays and be hard to, to play against. But in saying that, uh, there's, uh, there's a balance with... Uh, Playing that way and, and being responsible and understanding uh, the areas uh, uh, we can be a little bit more aggressive in, and sometimes you got to be a little bit more cautious and, and understanding the game, uh, who you're out there against as well. So, um, something that continues to get better for us, and we'll obviously need going forward. Is sign of the growth of the team, you've been able to shut down the opponent in third periods lately. Yeah, I think that's something we we want to do, and and is obviously important to get the results that uh, that we need and that we want. So. Uh, no question when we when we get leads and we're able to control the game we want to continue that right to the end especially in the third period when you know teams are going to take a few more chances um going to be a little more aggressive and human nature is to kind of sit back so i think we want to continue to be aggressive ourselves and control the game play with the puck and, and create opportunities and shut shut anything down that they try to generate uh it's good uh, i think it's I mean, we, we've played together a couple times before but um, I think this is the longest we've played together, so I think it gives just each other confidence, knowing that uh, Keith wants to keep us together for a long time. So um, we just want to make sure we're doing things right out there. Whether it be John or Austin, in terms of comparing centers, uh, I know they're different players, but what's the common thread between the two that makes everyone around them so good? Um, I mean, I think just uh, the overall game. Um, when they have the puck, they're, they're deadly with it. They can make a lot of plays with it. Um, when they don't have it, they're always in the right spot to get it back or, or uh, stop a play from happening. So I think for me and Jaime, it's just trying to find the open space, trying to help out Matt if he needs it. 
Do you draw upon what happened in Edmonton back in mid-December and, and apply that again here tonight, given the amount of games you've played since that time? I mean, uh, I think we know what we need to do to be successful, and that's just making sure we're, we're above them all night. they got a lot of speed and skill in that team, so we want to make sure we're limiting their offensive chances and their, their odd man rushes. Sheldon, has been a lot of wins for your club in the last few weeks. Is there a common thread through all those games, and you've won in different ways that you might like to see applied as a sum here tonight? Well, I think as you say, there have there's been all sorts of different types of games. Uh, so I guess if there's a common thread, it's just that we've stayed with it, and stayed confident in, in our in our group and what we're doing, and uh, we've adjusted and responded well at key times. Uh, that's been a, that's been a big part of it. And, and obviously, the, it's a confident group right now. You guys uh, did a good job limiting McDavid and Drysaddle even strength in Edmonton. How does the strategy change now that they they're on two separate lines and Muzzin's up? Yeah, I mean, the strategy doesn't change a whole lot, but obviously the, it's it's a little bit different in terms of the challenge, as you're saying, with, you know, two separate lines and and someone like Muzz, uh, Muzz being out. But, uh, you know, we, we felt pretty good about how we've played defensively here. We're, we're, we're going to be very aware of who we're on the ice against, of course, but uh, still just play within our structure and the things that we want to do. And then, uh, of course, just try to keep the puck as much as we can and keep it away from those guys. Matthew's line right now and what he and Marner have been able to do? Yeah, just a lot of a lot of chemistry, just the way they're feeding off each other. I think Austin's been able to, uh, playing with Mitch has been able to really find space to get available and, and get dangerous shots. Mitch finds them really well. Um, so yeah, I just say that the chemistry has, has been really good in that sense. What's Alex contributed to that line? Alex, to the JT line? Sorry, I've been away for a while. Yeah, that's okay. What's he contributed in the top six as opposed yeah, to? Yeah, uh, you know what? He's been, I uh, actually just finished talking to him before I came in here. Like, just, I think, you know, settling in on the wing, he's a little more comfortable there now than he was previously. And uh, I just like that he's skating, he's working, he's 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 forechecking, he's doing a lot of the little things really well that, that those guys need him to do. But also, when he gets the puck, he's got a great skill set, great vision, he finds them. He's shown the ability to finish a chance when he gets uh, when he when, when they get in the puck in a good spot. So he's complimented them very well. You getting the same thing from Hole or Berenson that you did with the Marlies in many ways, do you think? Yeah, we've been happy with them uh, for sure. I mean, obviously Hole's been been good for for quite some time here now. Uh, you know, losing Muzz is is tough for us, of course. But uh, wanted to see how Marinson could do uh, you know, with a little more consistency in in this opportunity and. Um, you know, there's you know, obviously the, the, the team's in a different place now. Um, so I wanted to just kind of put him in there and see how he would do. And I think he's done very well. Of course, it's going to be a greater challenge here today. But, uh, you know, I, I believe in Marty and, um, and his abilities. He's helped us on our penalty kill. That's one area that he's really been able to fill in for, for Muzz there. Uh, and then at 5-on-5, five five, we've seen some really good things with this gap control and defending the neutral zone. And, uh, you know, that's going to be really important in today's game.